This is the 11th installment to the series entitled Build Your Business into an Asset of Value. The worth of a business is measured not by what has been put into it, but by what can be taken out of it. The strict accounting definition of shareholder value or equity is reflected in the accounting formula. Assets equals liabilities plus equity or put differently, equity equals assets minus liabilities. Don't become confused by the definitions of shareholder value flaunted on social media. Most of this content refers to shareholder value as measured by the stock price of a listed entity. Entities where stock is publicly traded on a stock exchange. These definitions do not apply to private companies. That is entities not listed on a stock exchange. Ultimately, shareholder value for the founder or for second round investors is realized when the ownership interest of the business is sold to another investor. In the last section of this book, I address business valuation. For this chapter, all you need to understand is the format of and the information reflected in the statement of financial position. The statement of financial position, commonly referred to as the balance sheet, is based on the formula assets equals liabilities plus equity. Assets consist of current assets and non-current assets. Current assets which typically include cash or cash equivalents, inventory and debtors. The term current is another way of saying short term. Current assets are either cash or may be converted into cash within the accounting period. Non-current assets, which typically include machinery, tools, furniture, vehicles, fixed property and long-term investments. The term non-current is another way of saying medium term or long term. Non-current assets are not expected to be converted into cash within the accounting period. Liabilities consist of current and non-current liabilities. Current liabilities typically include an overdraft facility, short-term loans and creditors. The term current is another way of saying short-term. Current liabilities are expected to be settled within the accounting period. Non-current liabilities, which typically include medium and long-term loans, including shareholder loans. The term non-current is another way of saying medium to long-term. Non-current liabilities are not expected to be settled within the accounting period. Lastly, we have equity. Equity consists of shareholder equity and retained earnings. In conclusion, shareholder value or equity is akin to the fire sale value. Disposing of a business for this value is commonly referred to as an asset sale, where the purchaser, the new investor, are primarily interested in the assets of the business and less interested in the business as a going concern. Entrepreneurs aspiring to build a business into an asset of value are aiming higher. Builders want to realize a premium on the asset value of the business when disposing of their ownership interest. More on this in the last section of this book. Thank you for watching. To access the full series, visit Constructum Online Learning on YouTube or click on the link in the post.